Hi, my name is Lisa Gaylord. I'm a personal trainer with lisagaylord.com. I'm here at Metropolis Fitness in Miami, Florida. In this clip, I'm gonna give you some tips on how to design an on and off schedule. You never wanna work the same muscle groups the same, same way, same type, day after day. You wanna break it up. So you have your on days and off days. You also have your rest days as well. For example, if today I'm doing squatting, which is where I'm working my, my quads, big muscle, big muscle groups. I like to tend to stay into one big muscle group, whether it be my back or my shoulders or my chest or my quads or my abs. I'm grouping them together. I'm gonna separate the groups again. Today I'm doing squats. Tomorrow's routine will be a change of muscle grouping. And what I might do is say bench press or, or, or push-ups. So I'll come to the ground. This is the next following day and I'm doing all my upper body work. Okay, and on my upper body work, I'm working chest, I'm working shoulders, I'm working tricep. Now on the third day, I could be a little sore from doing legs from the previous day, and then that day I did chest and shoulders, upper body is sore. So can I choose a day off, or I might wanna do a routine where I'm doing more cardio work. So your on and off days may be a full rest day of nothing at all, or incorporating one of the routines that I discussed with you guys whether it's legs, chest, shoulders, back, tricep. Remember, you can organize these workouts into push and pull days as well. So those are some tips that you can use for your on and off routines. This is Lisa Gaylord, thank you for watching.